Welcome to Safetica 101. In this episode, we will go over blocking websites using Safetica Supervisor. By blocking websites, you can keep users from browsing to unwanted websites, keep employees productive, and protect your company data. Blocking websites with Safetica is easy and only requires a couple steps. First, you have to determine which users to block, and then determine the sites or categories of sites you wish to block. So let's open up the Safetica Management Console and begin. Click on Supervisor, then click on Web Control. In the User and Device tree, select the users this will be applied to. Web Control can be set globally, by group, or individual user. In this training, we will set controls for David Brown. Now, enable Web Control, then set the mode to Deny List, and create the new role. We will name this one Facebook. Click on the Add button and put in the URL www.facebook.com. Then configure the blocking details. Click OK. And now the rule has been added. You can also block categories of sites. In this training, we will block all social media sites. Click Add, then select the category you wish to block. You can also create allow lists if you only want your users to have access to specific sites. For example, we will use LinkedIn. If we search for LinkedIn, we can see that it is in the social networks category, which was previously blocked. So we can add LinkedIn to the allow list to make sure users will only have access to this site. Now click on the check to save your settings. Now let's take a look at the end user side to check our work. We will open up Internet Explorer and type www.facebook.com. And we can see that Satika now blocks this website. You can also create custom URLs and blocking sites if you do not want the users to receive a Satika notification. Thanks for watching this episode of Safetica 101. This training introduced you to some of the many features and capabilities of Safetica. For more information, please visit our website at safeticausa.com or call us at 1-877-545-1509.